Yo, what's going on, guys? Volibear is currently tied up for being the strongest jungler in the game. He's insanely good, mainly because they nerfed Lich Bane and Evelyn. For your runes, you want to take Pressy Attack, Triumph with Alacrity Last Stand, alongside Celerity, Water Rocking, Attack Speed 80, and Health. We have Ghost as well. We are running a 64.92% win rate build, and that's rushed down a Divine Sunder first item, or I should say a Sunder Sky first item. Very, very similar, but not quite the same thing. Sunder Sky first into Frozen Fists, into Dead Man's. It's going to work really well against their team. They have plenty of physical damage for us to synergize against. We're up against Singe. I tried to stop his proxy for as long as I could, but it's kind of hard to stop it forever. We want to try to keep up our passive, extra attack speed stacks. Might be able to kill this guy here realistically. We'll see. He's kind of in a weird spot. Get with the W. Uh, he's not going to be able to get the wave. I'll push him off and go for Raptors. I don't care. He can suck it. He's going to miss a lot off that. That only cost me five or six seconds, and he's going to miss loads and loads and loads. It's also going to reset the wave for Scion. We don't really need the E shield that badly. Our W heals us whenever we already have it on a target within eight seconds of using it again against that same target. So. Voibular clears are insanely healthy. There's absolutely nothing weak about his clear at all. We got our E down. We kept up our passive there. For the attack speed stacks and on hit AoE damage. Auto W reset. Drop our E down on that. We can finish this with a W. Get him with an auto. It looks like Singe was able to refine the proxy. That's kind of frustrating. I guess Scion's happy to trade. Singe is definitely going to outscale him with Leandre's purchase. So even doing leashless and even kind of messing around top side, we should still be able to do a pre-330. If we didn't do any of that nonsense, we'd probably be finishing closer to 315, 320. That cost us anywhere from kind of 8 to 15 seconds. <clears throat> We're still here in time for Scuttle. We're full health, so it doesn't matter too much. Go for W Max first. You can go for Q Max first. They have a pretty beefy front line, triple melee. If they don't have triple melee, I'd say Q Max first is better. Nocturne's kind of in that general area. Cat is going to have to play back against the Pantheon. Not really seeing her stepping up a whole lot here. We'll go ahead and reset, pick up Lucids. Lucids are crazy good on Volibear. You spam spells with your Q, W, E. Lucids are really, really good. We'll be plenty tanky off of the Sundered Sky Hill, plus the Frozen Fist Hill with uh, Dead Man's. After Dead Man's, usually you go for Force of Nature or Spirit Visage. I'm going to push Spirit into Unending Despair. Or Unending into Spirit. They're both essentially healing items. The Unending Despair is an armor he healing item, and then Spirit Visage is, of course, a magic resist item that increases all of your healing and shielding. I don't see the easiest gank in the world against Singed. Although I am tier 2 boost, we might give this a little try. I do have Ghost as well. I don't know what this guy has. Alright, I'll Ghost in for this. Get an E down. He's got nowhere to go. Nice. Yeah, my E completely blocked him off. Sign might be mad I got the kill, but it is what it is. I'll take it. So I assume this whole area is gone. Just checking real quick. I think that's gone too. It just didn't show. I have tier two boots. It's so freaking good for ganking and clearing on Bully Bear. It's partly why he's so strong right now. Just how good Lucid's is. We start inside of the E with our Q. Right when you're about to land your stun, you want to E. You don't want to wait until after your stun lands. Otherwise, they'll come out of the stun and walk out or jump out. So it's like right as you're about to stun, you put E down generally. I only E'd early before because of Sin. She's lined up with the wall and I didn't want him escaping. My E blocked him off and you solo on health that my E would have killed him like it did. Go ahead and turn around and get that with a W. Get that with a Q. And we want to try to get it on the big one keep up our passive stacks we don't have to hit the whole camp as long as we're hitting the big one because the small ones realistically die to all of our aoe damage as is and q over it doesn't look that gankable to me since nocturne's there he's already spent gold as well so he has his team at and whatever 
kind of want to get this in bush just in case. You never know. It's a good chance he's actually doing drag right now. He's going to be greedy. After your two boots, he has team at. Really shouldn't have shot the hot shock. We already knew he was doing it. So Ash kind of <clears throat> get that cat out of the bag there. Might be able to do this since they're bot lane back. Volibear has an incredibly good shred with our auto attacks from passive extra attack speed, our W healing us and doing increased damage after we've already applied it. This dragon is really important for our team. We have Scion, Volibear will have lots of armor, and magic resists for this to uh, percent increase. Dragon actually gives quite a bit of XP. It's about one camp worth of XP. Krugs. See what we can do against Cat. She does have Sork Shoes. Got our press the attack off. Not looking to <clears throat> let this wave crash necessarily. Looking to hold it where it is. Yeah, alright. We're chilling. I have the wave kind of exactly where I want it. My Q's on cooldown, so I'm not even going to try to bait that for my Pantheon. Drop E down right here. You don't only don't even need your E shield while you're farming, but since I'm so low on health, I will intentionally go out of my way to self-shield there. You can have the cost of faster clear by using E sooner from farther away. I want to get all my health back. I want to have good ganks. Do something here. You typically go for grubs first, then you do drag. In this case, I was already bot side, so... Alright, these are going to reset. <clears throat> it's fine by me. They chase way too far. I'm like all the way over here and they're hitting me. We could gank Kata with my R. Let's come up behind. I would like the wave to, <clears throat> to, to be there. He's taking a sweet, sweet time. <clears throat> I don't know why. Dude's like not even trying to push the wave. It's kind of crazy. We'll Q in. Get our stun. We walk out with Ghost on and we're chilling. The Nocturne's about to pop out. Just need to get the wave pushed. Pantheon's greedy for staying there. He, all he had to do was push the wave so our minions could tank on the way in. Instead, I had to take a turret shot or two on the way in. Otherwise, I could just walk her down with Q on, hold R until after I stun her. Because the first turret shot doesn't hurt too bad. It's the subsequent ones. Each one does more and more damage. Singed over here. Might actually be able to kill him if he passed into me. We got the E down. We stun the side W auto. Red buff auto's on his head. Down he goes. Singed is really freaking gankable if he doesn't have tier 2 boots. And I have tier 2, so. Opens up a lot of angles for us. Volibear being a spell casting type of jungler. Helps his clears out a lot. For example, if you go Lucid's on someone like Zen, it doesn't do a whole lot since he's more auto attack based than anything else. We're sitting on... A big chunk of Sundered, really. We can get Tunneler. It's my favorite part of it. We'll get Call Fields. I'm going to hold off on Control Word just because I already have Oracle Lens. I don't think it's that necessary. Our biggest win condition of this game is... I'd say just getting Dragons. We out team fight them, I think. They're going to run right when they see Ash. Get my E down. He's smited inside. We get with the stun. He's getting wrecked. He shouldn't be able to outrun me. We got my E down right there. He's just trying to suicide now. I don't really care if Nami gets the kill, but I'd prefer to have it. Alright. <laughs> That's a really fast respawn. He had an 11 second respawn at level 6. That should be 20 seconds. I'm going to push over for Grubs. He's greedy for coming in my jungle like that. She needs to hit the yeah, the, the real ward there while I have my oracles on. I'm going to head over mid with my R. Nocturne's crazy fast for not even having tier 2s. Oh, he's mid. I see his little cloud there. Thank you. Get my E down. Pantheon played that really bad. Pantheon just, oof, he, he stunned, he could have just stunned uh, Nocturne, he like panic stunned Dominion. Runner down, 
you in a W. She's greedy, dude. She must have needed gold for an item or something. She really thought she could kill me there with Electrocute Ignite. It's like, my guy. I have tunnel. It's 250 health. You always need to check items before you go into a fight to the death or a gank. It makes a huge difference knowing what someone has. If she would have known I had tunnel, she might have just thought I just still only had Lucid or something weird. I think Nocturne was low. I don't remember. <clears throat> Wow, all right. We can kind of just hit him once, pull him out so we can escape, drop the E. And our lightning chains. We can use our E again. It's still typically best to focus one so you can take it quickly. I'm going to ghost this guy down, get him with a W and the Q. Tried to take off his shield with my W, but he held onto his shield. He was smart there. I was trying to bait it out and just wipe it with W, stun him for the Scion knockout. Well played to Nocturne there. You almost never see Volibear do that, W into Q. It's not. The thing that's awkward about it is even if you land your stun on Volibear, you still have the speed up for a little bit to where <clears throat> it's almost always just best to stun him then use your W. <clears throat> now, if his if the way his Q worked was, okay, you lose your movement speed after you land the stun, then yeah, he would almost always W first, but it doesn't work that way. That's why he always just Qs first because there's no downside to it. Your Q, of course, is a much larger movement speed bonus when moving towards enemy champions. Use our Q reset. W and Q are both true auto resets on Wooly. I can R away if need be. It looks like he went bot side. He's a full item here, too. Oh, no one can get here. That sucks nothing I can do about this we have to give there's, there's literally nothing any of us can do there we literally just have to give I hate giving objectives like that but it's better to give early than to sit there and do nothing if you can't fight it don't fight it don't waste time oof scion you got roasted my dude shut down I think she's gonna go back for the wave I can already tell all head there. I have my R. My R goes through everything. It's unstoppable CC, kind of like a Malphite R. <clears throat> if he tries to fling and I time it well. Or if he just flings me away, I can still R on his head. We're going to R into him. Go with a stun into W. And I could just tell he, he was healing back pretty quick and his laner was dead. So he felt safe. So in his mind, he's probably thinking, oh, enemy jungle's not going to be here because I'm low. He's going to think I reset. But it's like, no, 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 no. I know you're greedy, dude. You're playing singed. People who play singed are incredibly greedy. All they think about is CS. Trying to pull these guys both into it. I still hit the Herald in the back. Why pharma? Scuttle crab here. Harold does really no damage. It's Wooly Bear. You heal with your W, shield with your E. Its damage output's too low to. I really should give this to Scion, I guess. He's gonna be doing split pushing and stuff. I'm fine with him having it. Normally you do want to give to Jungler, but Split Pusher, it's fine to give. I don't think Profane Hydra is really worth it on Nocturne. I think you're much better off with Eclipse or Hexplate Rush. Experimental Hexplate or Eclipse. Auto in the Q. In the W E. Yeah, Singe has uh, Leandri's in tier 2 boots now, so he's pretty quick. Where's Nocturne? Okay, he's bought. I could be on a ward, who knows. Got him with his slow. I'll run him down. I'm going to ghost him down. Stun him inside of the E. He's so screwed. Me having ghost, smite, and the stun E is brutal for him. Poor Singe. I think he ghosted or r there. Not, not sure which. Cat is a full item, but I have Sundered Sky. She can't kill me through my healing. We 
go ahead and just farm it up. Drag's not up. Harold's not up. If Sion didn't want to use Harold there, I feel like he didn't need to use it. They're still staying. They're, all my camps over there are going to be gone. That's why I'm using the danger ping, not the assist ping. I can tell. They're going to take everything. I'll head over top side, take their top side. Could reset for Iceborne. It's really good for permaslung people. You can stay on top for repeat Ws. Not really a soloist item, more of a uh, kind of team fighty type of item. Didn't get him with my R, but we did get his ghost. W auto. He smited auto into R. W into E. Wasn't able to get it. <clears throat> I'm taking a lot of damage here too. That stinks. Kata might be on her way. I don't know where she's at. Killing Singe is just tricky, dude. If I had Iceborne, I think he's dead there. We need your help with Smolder, says Pantheon. Alright, why don't I just Fiddlesticks ult on her? Solve the issue here. I mean, I kind of need help getting to Smolder too, my dude. <laughs> I can't get to her. She's got a Yumi. <laughs> Voiber struggles with Hyper Mobile Champions. I'm getting some quality coaching from my laners here. It's good stuff. Always appreciate it. Free coaching on the side. Singe has five deaths. We've gotten Harold, Grubs, Top. Get, what, what we've done top lane has been totally fine. <clears throat> Going bot lane, we probably just did, would have died a lot. It's not much my bot lane can do to follow me up. Unless Ash hits Smolder with R, there's absolutely no play to be made there. Smolder flies, but she needs. She has to kind of like fly over a wall to. Uh, ooh, that was a great Ash R. Get the stun in W. Yumi's way too fast. No boots. Her self speed up. She shouldn't have a self speed up. <laughs> Free drag. They all died at a weird time. He's literally. Is his herald running out of time? Huh. I don't know why he doesn't use the Herald. Saving it for next game, I guess. This is philosophy. Pantheon's getting rounded up. Singe on the split. We're losing a lot here. At least we're getting Dragon. It's a pretty good one, too. I really like when Drag's in these weird split pushy type games. We have our blue jungle item finished, so we touch bush, go fast. Dunner inside of the E. She's gonna jump to plant. She's gonna look for more plants if I had to I guess. We'll get her with a W. Oof. I'll ghost her down. Meow. Stunner inside of the E. W auto. Down she goes. It's worth. She lost flash for that. It's way longer cooldown than my ghost. And a Q. E smite. Stunner inside. I'm gonna, I want him to get this. He gets permanent health from killing stuff. He needs to get those minions. He has a permanent 800 health. That's going to be useful. Besides max health damage shredding it out. Against flat damage stuff like Katarina or Nocturne. That'll be really good. Let's keep playing Drag Soul Win Con, man. Cloud Drags are amazing for split pushes. It's for stopping split pushes or split pushing yourself. Out of combat movement speed. 5%. It's also slow resistance, which is effectively in combat. In, in, in combat stat. I mean, 5% is not much, but synergize that with some tenacity. And, I mean, it's a little something. something. Cat is on her own as long as Nocturne isn't here. I want this. Red buff, it's 20 minute mark, so my whole team gets this. Versus their whole team getting it. Are these guys AFK right now? They still have more kills than us, technically. Cat is going to come for red buff or for Krugs here because she's pushing up too much. I'll keep my passive up here. This, if this is war, that might be what's going on. She's just missing. I mean, they're losing their camps and stuff. They lost red. That's five reds for us versus them getting five reds. My mid laner's dead there. You see the flash animation, so she'd probably flash. <clears throat> She can't be up by herself like that. It's really, really bad. 
They're probably gonna try to Baron, so. I'll run away. Get with another W auto into R. Mm. Get with the stun W auto. Oof, Kata killed me. Sion's gonna get some hearts still at least. He needs to stop charging Qs, they're too slippery. If he can kill Kata, Nami Dam just coming in. Nice. Alright, alright. He's scaling. He's doing a little bit of scaling here and there. Kata chunked my head off. Gotta get some magic resist now. I wanted to go Dead Man's for the 64% win rate build. Force of Nature isn't too far off though. We can just push for this instead. Go Spirit of Sage. Then we'll get our Dead Man's. And unending respect. Unending despair, but right now Kata seems to be doing all the damage against us. Yumi's magic damage, Singe magic damage. I think Smolder's got a little bit mixed in, kind of like a Kogma. Oh, cool. Pantheon's farming my camps. What a goofball. We're pretty fast, Celerity Water Walking, especially in river fights, which is really the most important place to have extra movement speed. So that's J Barons, Dragons, Heralds. The most important neutral objective fights it will involve your water walking, which is kind of nice. Movement speed plus 80 AP. I don't think we can really stay on top of this guy. Stun aside to eat. He's gonna, he's gonna run us around and waste our time. Yeah, there's really no point chasing him here. Stun aside again to W. Oof. Oof, it's their whole team here. I am still alive, technically. I think Smolder flashed for me there. The fact that we traded one for one when it was their whole team is really, really good, though. Scion stays alive. He probably got some heart stills off them, too. Uh, ward for Scion TP. Drag fight. Oh, Pantheon actually got a kill. We win drag fight free now. I'm gonna have Spirit Visage as well. Nami Ash overstayed, and they're gonna get cleaned up. This fight's gonna be bad for us. They're gonna have man advantage. The sad thing is that literally should have just been an easy drag. But after taking turret, they're like, yeah, let's just stay in farm. It's a good spot close to the enemy base speed up. This is like those little things in League where you have literally almost nothing to gain, but the risk is so high that you're gonna die and throw an objective. You just all they had to do was back off there. The dragon was one billion percent free. And Nocturne's still not alive. Q into him, get him a smite. Stun this guy. I mean if he can't move, he's not that tanky. He almost just died there. Hmm. I don't want to deal with Smolder. Oof. Yumi kind of even hurts. So, the uh, Singe is low enough. We might just be able to do this, to be honest. Oh, this is bad. He's on a back line. Roll for the Smolder here. Big Scion knockup. Auto W auto. Smolder is just healing. Yeah, I gotta just kind of kite this out. I got so much shield, though. I'm gonna save W for Katarina R. I think she went over the wall. You get a stun W E. Down she goes. We can still go for drag on the bright side. Signs at least getting a bunch of hearts still. Oh, I wasn't even trying to take it. That's my bad. I didn't want it. I wanted him to get it for the extra permanent health. I at least get bonus XP since I have jungle item, though I did get level 15 off of this. I guess it's worth. Scion's really strong. They don't seem like they have a good way of killing him other than Singe, Poison, on Leandris. He's incredibly fed, though. We're going to smite that, and we're almost at soul point. I don't think we can kill Singe here at all. Me and this random 
Scion player. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, this might be awarded. Who knows? Huh, what's going on here, actually? I'm getting stunned inside the E. I'm getting with pretty much everything. Oh, you see how he's perma slowed from the Iceborne, though? The Iceborne is enough of a slow to hold him inside for an extended period of time. It's 31%. Uh, it scales off your health. 31% per two seconds is pretty big. When you factor in, we got a 40% slow per two on E, and the Q's done. Combine that all together, and it's actually pretty hard to get away, I'm thinking. I mean, Sage couldn't pull it off. He's got Rylai slow and Swifties. It's a good Scion art. I can't get top side. We killed Singe. We're already committed to this side. Our bot just need to stay alive <clears throat> and uh, stall the enemy recalls. All right, we just run here. It's nothing to fight for. She's just trying to bait us into overstaying. We got in here. They got Baron. It's honestly not a bad trade because the whole point of Baron is to get in hibs. The Baron gives, makes your minions tanky enough to survive. I have Smy. I think I can get this. This is huge, stealing this. It's five reds for my team versus their team. That's a 10 red buff. Power swap there. Five for us, none for them. Yumi's looking for a ward. Uh, Smolder kind of hurts and is wild fast. It's kind of insane how much damage I'm taking there. We'll stun him inside. Got our E shield. Smolder must have some max health damage. The amount of damage I was taking there is crazy. Good Ashar. We'll queue him down. E stun. We're inside the shield. I definitely need a type of frozen heart or something. We can stun the Smolder. I am going to die though from... Uh, Something smolder. I took four over 4k damage from smolder and smolder was barely touching me. And obviously I have less than 4k health because I was healing so much. Smolder breeze fire on enemy gains more stacks, more powerful. Wow. Yeah, infinite scaler. Very cool. Whew, I want to get dead man's, but we need I think attack speed slow. Or just unending despair. It's true damage too. That's so cringe. It's not even like you can stack armor against that and counter it. Uh, yeah, that's tough. There's no great item in this situation. There's really nothing great. I mean, Thornmill might actually be good. Stop some of the healing on it. Thornmill, Frozen Heart. Unending Despair, Frozen Heart. Frozen Heart did get nerfed. Might try Unending Despair. Smolder's infinite scale. I'm so scion. Boof, boof. You get an auto on Singe. Here goes the Ashar. Doesn't connect. This soul fight's going to be everything for our team. It's going to dictate the whole game. Neither team has shutdowns. Both teams are tied in gold. The only real difference is uh, we have more of their base and we also have drag advantage. Dude, Singe is a higher level than me. He has eight deaths. That's the state of jungle right now. Top lanes and mid lanes can play so freaking sloppy and weak and still be higher level than jungler at all points in the game except level three. Jungle hits level three faster than anyone else can by a little bit. But after that, top and mid are always ahead in levels. Always. Even if they don't have TP, even if they're not playing well, even if they're dying a lot, always have more. I gotta run this way. Wait, he actually went for red jungle item? That's a weird one. He definitely should have gone green. He's one of the primary tanks for his team or one of the primary engages. Scion's really not coming for a drag here. That's insane. We're just letting these guys step up. This is already awarded over here. Scion's not coming for some reason. 
Stun inside the E. Got a fat shield. Gotta go for Smolder. Smolder with R, W, auto. I think I missed my attack on Smolder there. Yeah, get the Yumi. Stun the Singe. Give it the E. Uh, yeah, I guess we just stay for drag now. I do have Smite, so this is Draxel. I think Pantheon probably did a good job of staying on Katish. The fact that he's still alive, he'd probably save stun for her R. If you can stop Kata R, she's not much of a character. She's three full items, though. Smolder healing with humors on him is tough. Probably dual Smurfs, if I had to guess. The fact they got so fed in lane. Very few deaths, especially on Yumi. Two deaths. Scion's so freaking tanky, it's wild. Yeah, we just need to leave here. Smite off his shield, get with the W auto. This is annoying. Stun the singe. Get him with a W. He doesn't die, and I'll run away with Ghost on. Oof, never mind. I'm not going anywhere. This champion's OP. <laughs> it's so weird how much damage that thing does. It's super scorcher breath. Why am I taking 1600 true damage from a single ability? That is nuts in the butts. Nami lands everything. They luckily do kill Smolder. <sighs> now it's a question of do you go for Dead Man's here or do you go for Frozen Heart? I don't know. I think they're both really good. Both really, really good. I'm going to have to read some older abilities. I'm not sure if this is max health true damage or if it's just flat or execute. I don't know what this thing is. If I knew, actually knew what this was, it would help me out a lot. Because I don't even know if Frozen Heart interacts with it is the thing. If I go Frozen Heart and it doesn't interact with that, then I'm... I'll be in a tough spot then. Singe is full build pretty much. He's just as full build as I am. Every single one of our champions benefits massively from the uh, Cloud Soul. 50% bonus movement speed for 6 seconds. After using R, stun inside, W auto, Ash misses R, Ripperoni, Pepperoni. Gone with another W slow from our Iceborne. Iceborne's so freaking good, man. It's a good team fight weapon. Good gank weapon. It's really bad soloist item, to be honest, but for team fight, it's super, super good. It used to make the enemies do 10% less damage when you hit them with it, but they removed that. Because they made it too good of a soloist item. I was really fast there. Holy moly, I got it. I got my movement speed. I'm moving 488 right now. Nami speed up. Nami speed up goes wild. Bonus stats from Baron, plus we'll all be able to finish full build. Ash is on the wrong side of the map. Notice how I'm not pinging her directly, but I'm pinging that area. Like that is such a foolish thing for her to be doing. They have a Nocturne, a Katarina, a Smolder, Yumi. Anything can kill her. Literally anyone on their team could kill this Ash. She's she's actually split pushing. That's insane. What an absolute goofball. Cyan gets away. And that should be a, you know, we'll, we'll try a Frozen. We'll try a Frozen, pick up Elixir of Iron. Elixir of Iron, 300 health, 25% tenacity. Movement speed when my allies are moving kind of towards me. I'm going to pray Frozen Heart affects Smolder. Should, shoulda, woulda, coulda. It, won't, it doesn't affect Olaf on R, Yi on R. It will affect the uh, Nocturne autos pretty good. This is inhib here. Cyan's not here though. He might be looking for an R. Yeah, he's looking for it. I'm gonna QE. I'm gonna deactivate turret. Turret's gotta be deactivated. We got. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if Smolder killed everybody. 
I do know that people generally ban Smolder right now. It's considered the strongest AD carry in the game. Oh, same thing. Super Scorcher Breath. I don't feel like my Frozen Heart did anything. Smolder just again just kind of one-shot me in a matter of two seconds. It, it said the fight duration was long, but it really wasn't. Maybe I got hit by a random ability 10 seconds, 15 seconds before the real fight started. But the actual fight, I died almost instantly. Mm, at this point, I have enough ability haste. We really d don't want Lucids anymore. <clears throat> we might actually lose on that. Crazy, dude. You gotta ban Smolder. Wow. I think he's the highest ban rate champ in the game right now. He's already top 10, I think. Top 10, top 15. They gave it some more buffs and it tipped it over the tipped it over the top there. <clears throat> we lost that fight with Drag Soul. Uh with Baron, I think. I forget, but we had a lot. Big advantage. Didn't matter. I'm getting slowed here. Oh, Cyan hits Smolder. It's winnable. Go for the Kata. Oh, why am I taking so much damage, though? We actually still lost that fight. That is not real, dude. This Snar, he's not real. Smolder's so broken, dude. We lost that fight with Sion getting a huge knockup on Smolder. Kata dying pretty much instantly. We're, there's no way we're winning these team fights. Smolder's like one-shotting the whole team with some kind of AoE ability. It's big, true damage, no skill. Whole team's getting wiped. Absolutely wiped. Oh, man, I'm still pretty happy with what we've been able to do this game. I mean, we, we got the dragons, we got the herald and grubs, but sometimes it's not enough, man. Sometimes enemy team has a champion that's S++++++++ plus 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 tier. So much damage. It's not even full build. Can you believe that? If not even full build, it hasn't sold boots for a full item or anything. It's crazy. I'd probably get Sterix if I could do it over again. It doesn't seem like my Frozen Heart's doing diddly squat versus Smolder. Sterix would at least give me a fat shield to play off of. Should probably end N 5v4, stay alive together. Katarina goes in, immediately kills Ash. <laughs> our 5v4 is turned into our team being dead. I'll ghost in for this. Ugh. Okay, you just can't get to Smolder, dude. That character is busted. The weird thing is, it's not even like our team doesn't scale. We have Scion, we have Ash, Nami. Sure, I mean Pantheon fall off, but we have Draxol to compensate for that. Clearly, it's not. We all kind of have to focus Smolder, but if we try to focus it, it flies away. And it's dealing damage to you the whole time it's flying away. Who did he just ult? Oh, he's on my teammate. I can get him with Smite. Oh, I'm dead. Dude, just the rate in which I'm dying is what's wild. I'm, I'm dying not in the matter of five, six seconds. I'm dying like two, two and a half. Such a weird character, man. It's like Vayne. Vayne, but more mobile defensively. Vayne, but, you know, better in every way. <laughs> Vayne could tumble over walls and fly and do big AoE damage abilities, which Vayne only has single target. Basically vain, but with no weaknesses. <laughs> oh man, what a game. We'll take a look at damage out damage taken and runes.
Smolder is going to be the highest by like 10 times over on damage. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we were certainly up there. We were close to being some of the most dealt. I think if, especially if we were on the winning end of the, a lot of those end team fights, our damage score would be higher versus us just dying instantly to Smolder auto attacking us twice. But uh, yeah, all in all, Smolder did the most damage by a pretty big distance for damage taken. We were high, so was Scion. Self-mitigated, we were high, so was Scion. And for runes, high value. All in all, guys, ban Smolder and you'll have fun. If you enjoyed this Void Bear video, let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.